Hi, I'm Mary Crowley and this is Arts and More. Today we are lucky to have as our guest Marina Smachtina, <laughs> who is a cellist. I have heard her in various places in Rutland lately and you will be very lucky to hear her play the cello. Katya Cook is here in case during the program uh, Marina would like her to translate uh, the English. Um, she is a Russian teacher at Mill River High School and they met here in Rutland and so Katya's here just in case. Uh, Marina's going to start up us off by playing a piece by Bach. to read to you uh, the autobiography, just the first part that Marina wrote for this show. Uh, she grew up in Russia. She began piano at the age of six and cello at age 10 in the music school in Samara, Russia. She received her bachelor's degree in cello pedagogy and performance uh, from the Toyati College of Music. She has been a music teacher for over 35 years, teaching cello, classical guitar, and piano. Many of her students and former students have won national and international competitions. In Rutland, Marina conducted the Lakes Region String Program last year. So she has quite a resume, and there's more uh, between pieces coming up. Um, Katya, why don't you say um, something about the swan? So the swan is a part of a larger piece called Carnival of the Animals by Sansens. 
And I think you'll hear the qualities of a swan moving in this piece as Marina yes, plays it. Yes, I do it. too. have an audience. Um, I was uh, watching you at a Grace Church performance and I watched your right hand and your left hand. Actually it's I guess your right arm as well as your left arm because you seem to use the whole thing. So would you just explain and cut you, I don't know whether you want to do this in Russian or whether you want to do it in English. Uh, but the two of you together, if you would explain what the technique of playing the cello is, it's extraordinary what you do. We have a lot of techniques playing the cello, legato. Well, what does the right hand do? If you didn't use the left hand, what does, what does the right hand do? So the right hand moves the bow across yes, the strings and yes. how the bow moves determines the, the quality, the tonality of the yes. notes that the left hand is playing. And, and can you play just one note at a, can you play just one string at a time? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Indifferent. It differs. So different, different pieces require different things, okay. but you may play more than one string. But you can't, you can't play just the right hand. That doesn't make music. You have to use the left hand, right? Yes. yes. All right, so what, what does the left hand do? Uh, push. The left hand pushes the strings down yes. for each note that it's going to play. And change position. Because yes. cello is a very big instrument. You need to change position every time. Yes, to that's what, it, what yes. struck me. Yes. Yes. The left hand. That yes. left hand is doing a dance all mm -hmm. the time. Yes, <laughs> moving, moving can change position. Um, do, you go, do you go to one note, one string at a time? Can you go to two strings, three, four? Yes. That's what I thought. Mm. Uh, this is four. One. Uh, this is three, two, and one. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. I show uh, other technique. Thank you. 
Uh, so uh, are there names for what you yeah, did? Uh, with that example, Marina, you showed pizzicato. Yes, pizzicato, left hand. Plucking the strings. All right. Staccato. Staccato. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know that from my musical yes. background. Usually we play pizzicato like right, right hand. hand. Ah, but this okay. This is, is different. But for the most part, the bow yes. is there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and now uh, mm -hmm. you are going to play a piece by Webster. Is that right? Mm, yes. <laughs> Scherzo. What do you know? <laughs> Scherzo. <laughs> This is the second part of Marina's autobiography. In addition to teaching, Marina enjoys performing and has performed in the Samara Symphony Orchestra in Russia and locally in the Champlain Philharmonic as well as in an advanced string quartet at Castleton University. Beyond music, Marina enjoys yoga, tai chi, traveling, hiking, cooking, and gardening. She cannot imagine her life without music and teaching. Sounds like a great combination. <laughs> um, you have a story, um, do you not? Yes, um, you grew up in Russia. Yes. And then? Uh, when I retired, I decided to be close to my daughter. And I moved here three years ago. I have never spoken English. I moved here with my doggy, 16 years old, <laughs> gold retriever. Okay. Um, how did your daughter happen to be here? My daughter um, married to an American man. She married an American. <laughs> yes, she's happy. Now she graduated Castleton University, and I live here. I live here. <laughs> right. And so you've, you've lived here for three years. You said you came your, with your dog. Yes. Who was how old? 16 years old. 16? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, he was an old dog. Yes. <laughs> but he kept you company for a couple yes. of years. Good. All right. Now, uh, you were doing some other things besides what you mentioned in your autobiography. You want to mention what they are? So yeah, caught you. you. Marina, when she came here, she worked for a bit as a substitute teacher at Mill River Union High School. And now she works as a paraeducator in Wallingford at Wallingford Elementary School. And why, do you, why don't you explain how you met? Okay. We actually just met in the hallway at Mill River Union High School. Uh, Marina was coming to start teaching, start teaching as a substitute teacher, and I happened to be there. And at Mill River, we have a Russian program. So 
we immediately recognized each other as people who speak the same language, and that's how we met. Okay. Um, I'm curious, how did you get your Russian language training? I began my Russian language training in college, okay. and I continued with it for graduate school. And I've been teaching Russian for many years. Very good. Well, that's wonderful that you connected. Yes. I'm not sure there are too many people walking around <laughs> Rutland, Vermont, that <laughs> they can't true. speak Russian. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to finish the program. Uh, Marina will be playing Eccles, and then perhaps Albert, and then perhaps someone else. <laughs> yes. you for coming along as uh, you didn't have to do much interpreting of Russian. <laughs> and thank you, Marina, for sharing your gift of music. Thank you, Mary, for inviting us. <laughs> we'll see you, I'm sure, at another performance. Yes, I will. <laughs> thank you so much for watching.